I'm Laurieann Turnbull and I work with Greater St. Albert Catholic Schools. So I'm the Transportation Sur Supervisor. I manage the transportation services for the division and get all the kids to and from school every day. That's the, that's the major piece. It's, it's safety. It's a major focus for us as it is for the Student Transportation Association of Alberta. We've had a, a number of flybys. We often have flybys and, and we try our best to uh, maintain stops on the right-hand side of the road where flybys are not um, a safety issue. However, you can't do that everywhere. So when you have an area which has a high traffic volume where children have to cross the road, you'll do anything you can to ensure the safety of those children. And that goes, goes with these new extended stop arms, which is our newest safety feature we've placed on our buses. Um, we've done, currently we're doing seven um, routes where we have uh, students having to cross in front of the buses. And those routes now have these extended stop arms which extend out into the next lane of traffic and hopefully put that stop sign more in the eye, vision eye of the driver so that they will um, do what they need to do, what the, what the law tells them they must do when they see the red lights flashing, which is stop. Hello everyone, my name is Andres Galarza. I am the sales manager for the revolutionary extended stop arm in Canada. Over the past few years, we've had a focus on improving student safety with the ESA with a proven track record of success. So what exactly is it? The ESA is an immediate and proactive solution to stopping illegal and dangerous drive-bys of a stop school bus loading or unloading students. In other words, it's meant to stop drivers in their tracks when a school bus is loading or unloading students by extending onto the road and becoming a visual deterrent for motorists to break the law and put students in danger of injury or death, whether it's the four and a half five and a half or six and a half feet options. The ESA has shown an over 95% reduction in violations both here and in the United States across more than 2,500 installations. Just ask the drivers. My name is Lisa. I, I drive school bus for Cunningham. A lot of vehicles driving right through the stop sign. I can say for drive-bys with a stop school bus, uh, I probably have two per week. My children, those children on, those, on that bus that are trying to get home will get hit. My responsibility is to get them home safely. Stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> the extended stop arm is there to deal with the driver behavior. So you do need this additional piece if you have children crossing in front of your buses, um, you know, if, if your budgets allow. I say you have to buy it. You have to do it in order to ensure the protection of your children. It's one more layer that you can give. We've done everything we possibly can to ensure the safety of our children, and now it's up to the drivers. And I would say to a school division, if you have the ability to put these on your bus, financial ability, then you should go ahead and do that. And then now we need to rely on the drivers. We have 62 school boards across this province that are transporting kids, and we need to make sure that those children can do that safely. And the way that we do that is by putting in some of these safety measures um, to ensure that our kids can get home to their families safely. With motorist behavior becoming more and more erratic, the benefits of the ESA are immediate by adding a second flashing stop sign to your existing stop arm, forcing drivers to take notice and come to a stop. The ESA is here to help keep your students safe on the road. We're very excited to improve student safety in Ontario, and we're more than ready to be of service. So when those lights are flashing, stop means stop.